In life, nobody and nothing will help you until you start helping yourself. An inspirational quote that you can reflect on as you complete your tasks this week. To start the day right, let's consider ourselves to be blessed. Truly, we are blessed even with the simplest things that we have. You are listening to CKK 89.5 North Star FM Radio. Okay, radyo ka alamang pang modular. Magaan na sa buhay, madali pa sa pag-aaral. As what you always do, get your paper and pen. Let's get started! The most essential learning competency for this week is to Evaluate narratives based on how the author developed the element, point of view. Okay, so let me tell you first what point of view is. Okay, so kindly listen. Point of view is the I or narrative voice through which you tell a story. When you write a story, you must decide who is telling the story and to whom they are telling it. A story can be told from the first person, second person, or third person's point of view. Writers use point of view to express the personal emotions of either themselves or their characters. The point of view of a story is how the writer wants to convey the experience to the reader. With first-person point of view, the main character is telling the story. Readers will see the words I, me, or we in first-person writing. It is commonly used for narratives and autobiographies. First-person point of view can be singular or plural. The singular form uses I or me and the plural form uses the word we. Both are used to give the writer's personal perspective. Okay, so let me give you an example. I always look forward to my summer vacation at the beach. I like to collect seashells and swim in the ocean. We love walking the dogs in the woods. We all think it is so much fun. In these examples, the pronouns I and we are used to show first-person point of view. When writing from a second-person point of view, the writer has the narrator speaking to the reader. The words you, your, and yours are used from this point of view. Some common uses for second-person point of view are directions, business writing, technical writing, song lyrics, speeches, and advertising. Example, you can wait in here and make yourself at home. You should be proud of yourselves for finishing your tasks. In this case, the word you is used to show second person point of view. Third-person point of view has an external narrator telling the story. This perspective can be singular or plural as well as gender-specific or gender-neutral. Words like he, she, it, or they are used in this point of view. Third-person point of view is often used in academic writing and fiction. So let me give you again examples. Tiffany used her prize money from the science fair to buy herself a new microscope. They contributed money to help the people in need. Take note of this. You can't always rely or depend on pronouns to tell you the perspective of a sentence. Okay? So not all sentences include pronouns. 
especially in the third person. So in the examples, Tiffany is used which is a she and the pronoun they. It is clear that it is in the third person point of view. There are three types of third person point of view. We have third person omniscient point of view, third person limited, and third person objective. Let me discuss to you each one. By the way, when we say omniscient, it means knowing everything. In third person omniscient point of view, the omniscient narrator knows everything about the story and its characters. This narrator can enter anyone's mind, move freely through time, and give the reader their opinions and observation as well as those of the characters. The second one is third-person limited point of view, which is when an author sticks closely to one character's thoughts and feelings while other characters are presented only externally. And the last one, third-person objective, has a neutral narrator that is not privy to characters' thoughts or feelings. The narrator presents the story with an observational tone. To sum it up, first-person point of view is the I-we perspective. Second-person point of view is the you perspective, while third-person point of view is the he, she, it, they perspective. Let us now analyze the point of view of narratives. So, you have to determine the point of view. Write the letter of your answer on a sheet of paper. Your choices are letter A, first person, B, second person, C, third person objective, D, third person limited, and E, third person omniscient. Again, the choices are letter A, first person, B, second person, C, third person objective, D, third person limited, and E, third person omniscient. Let us try this one. Kindly of listen. The birds were chirping and the sun was shining. Kevin and Juno were sitting on a park bench together. Neither of them was smiling. After a long period of silence, Kevin said, This isn't going to work. I mean, you're a dog person and I'm a cat person. Juno nodded. A tear rolled down her face. Kevin went on. If we got married and bought a house, what kind of pet would we get? Some kind of cat dog? Somebody's going to be unhappy. Juno began sobbing and said, Okay, let's just end it now. Have fun with your slobbery dogs. She jumped off the bench and ran into the woods. What is your answer? The correct answer is letter C, third person objective. Did we get the same answer? Yes, ma'am. You may now continue answering your learning task. I hope that you've learned something new today. Thank you for listening. This is your teacher of English, Teacher Laura. Until next week.